Hey everybody, today's recipe we're making a vegetarian black bean soup. Now this is very easy to make. We're using canned beans. This is very quick to put together and full of nutrition. I'm using herbs and spices. It's delicious and I think you're gonna love it. So I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after this. So let's go over the ingredients and I'll show you what's in this. So first up we have some black beans. Now I took out about a cup of those beans and set them aside because, well, we're going to blend up some of them and keep it nice and creamy. And then we're going to add this extra batch right here and I'm going to add that for texture. You want to rinse and drain them. Next up is our basil. I have some basil and fresh parsley which I'm going to chop up. Now back here we have some celery that I chopped up, some yellow onion, some tomato that I chopped up. We'll need a little lime juice. We use the juice from a half of a lime, some corn. All of that's organic. I have one potato there that I'm gonna slice up, peel, and cut into chunks. Right here I have a jalapeno that I've minced up, green onion for some garnish, and for our spices I have some ancho chili powder here, this is some marjoram, and this is some ground cumin. We have some coconut milk. I'm using full fat coconut milk here, vegetable broth, and some olive oil. All right, so to start this recipe off, I've got a frying pan here over at medium heat. We're gonna to toss in some olive oil into the pan. Give that a second to sort of warm up. And to the pan, I'm gonna add my yellow onion, and celery, and my jalapeno pepper that's been minced up. And I'm gonna saute this for, you know, five to 10 minutes. This brings out some good flavor, softens up the vegetables, mellows out the, their flavors, and kind of sweetens them just a little bit. So those potatoes that we cut up nice and small, we're gonna put in a saucepan, add some water to cover them, and then boil it for about eight to 10 minutes, or until they're soft. In this pan here, we're going to add all of the other ingredients, or almost all of them. So we'll toss in the beans, this is the vegetable broth. You can use chicken broth, whatever you want, but I'm making this vegetarian, so I'm using vegetable broth. Let's toss in our tomatoes. Now we're not gonna put the corn in yet because like I said, I'm gonna be blending this mixture in this pot up separate from the corn, the potatoes, and the extra beans that I have. All right, here's our spices, ancho chili powder, marjoram, and ground cumin. So we'll get all that in there. Put the temperature on that, we'll bring that up to a simmer. I've got some fresh lime juice that I'm gonna squeeze into my pot here. And we'll also add in our fresh herbs. That's the basil and the parsley that I chopped up. The celery has been cooking now for, you know, about eight minutes or so, looking good, it's softened up. I'm ready to pour it into my pot of soup. Once the soup comes to a boil, put a lid on it and turn the temperature down to low and let it simmer for about 10 minutes. All right, I'm ready to uh, use my immersion blender. Be really careful when you do this, guys. This soup is hot. I don't want to get hurt and I don't want you to get hurt either. I turned off the heat. I'm gonna actually tip it up a little bit so that that way the whole thing is in the soup and it tends not to sputter out. So let's hope that that works. So you're gonna take your time and just, you know, do this until it's pretty much all blended up. You could use a blender if you want. Now you're gonna to wanna to taste this to see if you need to add any seasonings, and especially salt. We haven't added any salt. And that depends on how much salt is in your chicken or your vegetable broth. I think you could use a little bit of salt. Now at this point, I'm gonna add the coconut milk. And if you need to turn the heat back up, you can to get that to you know dissolve in there because some of the coconut solids uh, still haven't you know dissolved yet in the heat. So really that's all there is to it. Now all we have to do is add all of the potatoes, the corn, just toss that in and this gives it a little bit of texture. Here's those beans we left out, so let's toss those in. And last but not least here is the potatoes. I just got this new uh, spoon, this ladle here that I'm using and I love it. You know, see how wide that is and all the all the little holes for draining stuff out, and draining out the liquid, love it. 
You want to get one of these. I think they're awesome. I'll leave a link for you down in the description. Okay, so then we'll just mix this in. I'm going to add just a little more salt to this just because I felt like it needed just a little more hint. And it is done. All right, it's time for soup. Soup is done. It doesn't take long at all. I mean, this is just a great soup to make. And gosh, it's just super. And I like the fact that I've got some, you know, thickness to this. I got the creaminess from the coconut milk. We got some texture from the potatoes, the, the corn, and some beans that we didn't, you know, mix up and blend. This is really good, guys. Love this soup. And you can garnish it with a little bit of green onion on top if you like. Something like that. And now I'm going to dig in for a taste. Nice and savory. I've got that hint of the lime juice in there, the fresh stuff we put in. The chipotle pepper spice that we put in there. Just a hint at the end, just really nice. Got a little smoky flavor to it. We got the onions and the celery, which of course always adds flavor to your soup. Delicious, guys. Try this. It's super easy. I know you're going to love it. And I want to thank you for watching. So if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button. There's one up here at the end of the video and there's the one down below. And it also, there's a bell down there. You got to click that bell. That bell will tell you when new videos come out every week. So don't miss that. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy it. We'll see you in the next video.